What's up guys, you Gab one Gab. So this is what I call the mommy diaries. This is when everybody's asleep and I sit in the hallway and do my thing. So I just wanted to clarify one thing. So I already know, like there's a bunch of people that really think that I expect everyone to be on the same wavelength as me. First of all, nobody is on the same wavelength. I mean, yes, there's somebody for everybody on the same wavelength. But as far as my mentality, like my response to things, my actions with things, I came a really, really long way. And for somebody that thought I would never, ever get where I am right now, that's why I know it's possible for you to get where you are going to be and where you need to be. That's why I'm continuously enlightening the world and dropping knowledge on everybody. And even if I don't get extremely personal all the time, which I don't have to, nobody does, just know, like, I'm here. I'm not here to make you feel some type of way because you had a bad day. I'm not here to make you feel some type of way about anything. My inbox is always open. My phone is always open. Whether I respond right away or not, I will always get back to somebody. Nothing happens overnight. Every single thing is time, consistency, and putting work into yourself. And that's it. But you have to know where to start. And you have to want to start. Because it's so much more than just getting up every single morning and having a specific routine to raise your vibration. It's so much more than that. And it's so much more than just saying positive things. It's so much more than that, too. My brain, when I was younger, like, never shut off. That shit never shut off. This is why when I'm telling you guys, like, I get it. Like, regardless of what the problem is, whether it's... A money problem whether it's a relationship problem whether it's just you feel depressed and you don't want to get out of bed like I get it and I feel for you I do that is why it's so important to me to spread all this love and to spread all this positivity because I know how hard it is like I get it there are certain things that I have going on right now that I don't talk about because one, I really don't get into my personal business too much with a lot of people, whether it's my best friend, whether it's my mother, whatever, like I don't get into it. You know why? Because it's not that I bottle things up, which is not good to do either. Like that's not good to do. Like I just, I take time out of every single day to sit in my feelings sit in my emotions and face my emotions and face whatever darkness I have to face. I kind of set a timer for myself to do that, to sit in my feelings, to quiet my mind and sit in my feelings and just accept them and then move on from it. Because if I don't, all I'm going to do is go backwards. That's not something that anybody wants to do right. We all want to move forward. And I feel like ever since COVID happened and like, Everybody was in quarantine and everything like this all since then, like a lot more people are getting enlightened and that's very important. It's very important to me that the, everyone in my life and even if I don't know you, like it's so important that you know how powerful it is to raise your vibration, how powerful it is to protect your entire well-being by training this so important and it's so powerful and when you finally finally get there you'll know I still do work every single day I'm still putting work in being I mean obviously I'm not a single mom but I'm a single mom 95% of the day I'm a single mom and have been we've always worked different schedules uh I homeschool um there's days that I gotta take my daughter with me to work like I understand you know like we can't expect help from everybody. Like, is it is it nice when the help is there? Of course. 
Of course it's nice. Of course it's nice. Like just going to shop right alone is like, fuck yeah. It's like a paradise. Like, yes, it's nice, but it's not always going to be there. We cannot always depend on people. We can't always rely on people. We can't always rely on people's word. Like, don't hold on to things. Don't expect anything from anybody, no matter what it is. And it's not that you're looking at the person like, oh, like, that's fucked up. You said this, da 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 and now it's different. No, it's not even like that. Like, life happens. When things are supposed to be yours, they're going to be yours. Whether it's free time as a parent, whether it's extra money, whether it's a new job, whether it's a car, whatever it is, when it's supposed to be yours in due time, it will be yours. And I promise you it will be. I promise. Like, I don't want anybody to ever feel ashamed of feeling some type of way about something or trying to talk to me about something because... That's not it. Like, I love you. I could cry right now. Like, you have no idea. Whether there's likes or no likes, like, there. And I'm not even trying to gas myself because I don't do all that. I get so many messages day in and day out from so many beautiful people. Just thanking me. Like, that right there. That shit. Is not the only reason that I continue to do what I do, but it's one of the reasons because helping everybody helps me too. You know, like I said, I'm still putting work into myself every single day and that's it. Like in order to manifest the things that we want out of life, we really have to set that emotion for ourselves and it takes a lot of work. That's why I'm always telling everybody, like, if you're really serious about trying to do this, like, reach out to me. I will break every single thing down to you. But you can't stop. Like I said once before, no matter how many times you got to refocus and restart and regroup, whatever it is, don't quit on yourself. Because you get this life right now that you're in, whether you get another one after, whether you had several before, this is the one that you're in right now. You have to live in the present moment. You have to know that it's okay to let go of things you have no control over and to only focus your attention on things you can control. That's the main thing. You have to know to not hold on to things all the time because that's something that we all do, right? Especially as women. <laughs> I don't want any woman saying saying otherwise because as women, we're very emotional, right? We have emotions. It happens. But don't hold on to those emotions, Listen, we all go through things, but once we can accept that almost every single thing that we go through is part of life, then we're going to be all right. I promise you're going to be all right. Even on the days that you get up and you just want to lay in bed a little longer, that's okay. Don't lay in bed too, too long because laying around when you're upset actually makes you more upset. It does. I promise you. Been there, done that. It makes you more upset. It gets you more in your head. Wake up every morning. Practice by doing this. Wake up every morning. <clears throat> Even if you took a shower last night, whatever. Wake up in the morning. Go in the shower. Wash away any stagnant energy that's there. Any negative energy that's there. You know, our bodies are made up of a lot of water. So, you're going to picture the water washing away all of that negativity. All the racing thoughts. Everything. You're going to sing, you're going to dance, whatever it is that you need to do. Drink water. Drinking water is very important, yes, but the most important time of the day that I find drinking water is in the morning. It gets your body up, wakes you up. Um, cold water, actually, like no matter how good a hot shower feels, cold water is actually very good for our blood circulation. Um, <clears throat> there's so many things that you can do, like sing. Even if you're singing about nothing, just sing. You got to set that emotion for yourself. You have to. It's so important to do that because if you don't, you're just going to feel stuck. And I don't know about you, but there's a lot of days you might feel stuck, right? Um, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, being a full-time parent, no matter what, we're going to try to, you know, smile for our kids all the time. 
But there's time that as parents, we need that time. That's why I call this the mommy diaries. Or it could be the daddy diaries, whatever you would like it to be. Call it what you want. But I know one thing, once you start practicing how to quiet your mind and how to do certain things and just see things from a different light, like you're literally unfuckwithable, your subconscious is constantly going with certain things, right? So now 50% of that subconscious reel that's continuously playing and playing, which is actually more conscious than our conscious mind. That will usually take over everything. And that's usually like the fear and the worry and everything. Like if you really want to start manifesting what you want, you really have to focus on exactly that. You have to set the emotion. You have to face all of the crappy emotions beforehand. Because we got to see the dark before we see the light. Always. When I say set the emotion, I mean like this. For example, okay. I have a bigger place. This is how I say it. I have a bigger home. I have a big, beautiful home. Okay? Now, when I'm thinking about these things that I want, I have a smile on my face. I'm saying it. I'm singing it. I have a beautiful smile on my face. That's setting the emotion. Because eventually, when we're continuously... It's just like how I told you guys. When we're looking at ourselves in the mirror and we're hearing our own voice, it does this magical thing to our psyche where we begin to believe it. I promise you, it's the truth. Just have it on repeat. It's just like when a song gets stuck in your head because you heard it on, or whatever, you want to hear it on repeat, and you got the song stuck in your head all day, all day, all day, the song stuck in your head. It's literally the same thing. I promise you, like, if you want it bad enough, you're going to get it by any means. And that's it. You're going to get it by any means. Whether it takes an hour, whether it takes three years, a month, a week, whatever. Just keep putting in that work. Before I go, um, the next thing I want to talk about is my 21 days of positive reinforcement challenge. Please, for one second, do not think. I mean, even if you did think this, like, whatever. What you think of me is none of my business, which is my motto that I live by. And once you could actually really come to grips with that, not giving a shit what anyone thinks of you, because it really is none of your business. You know why I say that? It's so much deeper than just not giving a shit about people. It's not that I don't give a shit about people. It's that anyone's opinion of me doesn't determine how I feel about myself, doesn't determine how I see myself, and it does not have a place in my brain whatsoever. And that's okay. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. It's okay to be selfish. Not even in a bad way. Like, it's okay to not answer the phone. It's okay to do for yourself. Whatever it is that's going to benefit you in the long run, it's okay to be that way. So back to my 21 days of positive reinforcement challenge. Please don't, for one second, think that I do not have my moments, okay? 24-7, 365, as I've always dreamt of, I am a mom. Even if Ruby is with my mom because I'm going to work because my mom was not home for a while and now she is and... Ruby's with her the one day a week. So that time that I get to myself is when I'm at work. I still find time while I'm working to take the two minutes that I need to regroup. Whatever it is that I got to do. I look at myself in the mirror with a beautiful smile on my face and say what I need to say. And we all have to do that. We all have to find that time because kids will drive us crazy, right? Obviously. But we don't get that time back. We don't get that one second back. Like... It's not me trying to act like I'm the perfect parent. There's no such thing as perfect at all. There's nothing. No no such thing as perfect. You don't think that my daughter's got sass? My daughter's got sass, okay? She's Jamaican and Italian. She's got sass. So, it's all just pointers and advice. Again, like every single thing is just advice. There's a bug in my hallway and it's driving me nuts. But it's all advice. That I give to you because these are things that I've taught myself over time and that I've learned as I go along. We're all going to have a slip up where we might not think first and we just want to scream because that's our instant reaction and that's okay. But we got to take a step back and remember these are little people that are going to be big people like us in the future. We are literally raising the future. 
So it's all important to make sure we have that nice bond with our kids, like that powerful, positive connection with our kids. And always remember, we are their parents before we are anything else. We are not their friend. We are not their homie. We are trying to raise strong-minded, intelligent, responsible, with manners, individuals, right? And when we scream, it literally, like, shuts their brain off. Like, that's why kids rebel a lot of times. Because it's like, people think the only way you can get any kid's attention is by screaming. No, it's actually scaring them. Like, it's causing anxiety issues in the future. It's making them think that the only way they can do anything or or uh, succeed in something is if they're doing something wrong. So just take a step back sometimes and just take a deep breath. And remember, the most important thing is that you are not alone. You are not alone. There are so many parents that hide in the bathroom and cry. When Ruby was born, I literally did not answer anybody for the first three or four months of her life. <laughs> I, like, literally shut down. Shut the fuck down. I was in the bathroom every chance I got crying my eyes out. Her dad went back to work after a week. I literally just moved into my apartment. Just moved into my apartment. Like, wasn't even unpacked whatsoever. Barely even had furniture. And I came home. I, my water broke my second night in my apartment. And I remember the landlord said, don't vacuum too hard. Like, don't bend too much because your water will break. And then sure enough, boom, did the deed. And then poof water broke and I had no idea either like I'm on the phone with my mom she's like Gabby go to the hospital because you don't even know what you're expecting right now you never went through this and blah 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 I'm like no I'm fine then all of a sudden I get up and I'm like yep babe gotta go to the hospital my water broke and then 16 and a half hours later my entire life changed for the better and my daughter literally saved me from myself like she did she is the most amazing thing I could ever ask for. Don't mind me if I get emotional because I got a lot of other things in my head. But that's why after this video, I'm going to take my time, take my shower, and take my two minutes to regroup because we have to do that. Not only as parents, just as humans in general. Like, we all have feelings and it's okay to have feelings. Just don't, let, don't sit on those feelings. Like, you got to just practice accepting them and moving on. I appreciate every single one of you so much and every single one of you that want to show your support to me. Like, I don't even know how to accept it. Everyone's telling me, oh, like, leave your link here, leave your link there. Like, I will get there um, when I feel comfortable enough to, like, accept the support that people want to give because I don't really know. I'm more of a give, 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 and when it comes down to accepting something, I'm just like, thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you all day long and oh my gosh are you sure oh my gosh like well, that's something that i need to work on myself so i appreciate all of you that stayed to the end of this video and just remember i am here i am always here i hear you i see you i love you and you're gonna be all right you're always gonna be all right because you are strong and no matter what you're going through you're gonna make it I promise. And you can literally heal yourself. No matter what it is, you can heal yourself. I promise you, you can. Whether it's mental illness, whether it's another illness, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, which I know are mental illnesses, but no matter what it is, like you're going to be all right. Because I am proof that it can be done. And I know that you are strong. And I know that no matter what, You've been probably through worse, right? Because we can't sit here and say, oh, no, like, that's not too bad. Oh, it could have been because everyone's feelings are different towards things, right? What's a big thing to you might not be a big thing to somebody else. And what's a small thing to you might not be a small thing to somebody else. We can't ever judge anybody's situation, especially when we don't know it. We cannot. We cannot. There's too many people in this world that do too much of that. Too much of that ugly stuff. It's not okay. So just remember, you can and you will raise your vibration. You can and you will manifest anything that you want. You can and you will change your entire mindset. 
And you can and you will be 100% better every single day. Because the only person you should be in competition with is who you were the day before. I love every single one of you and I hope you have the most beautiful, beautiful day or night, depending on where you are. Thank you, as always, for gabbing with Gab. Have a great night or day. <laughs>